because you are. All right. I don't know. I got nothing. That works, I guess. <laughs> he is cursed oh, with the rage of caffeine. Destined passed upon the Kerbal. Yeah, could be worse. <laughs> yeah. Sentenced oh. to a lifetime of North Star 1980. Oh no, I got out of that sentence. Uh, so he broke free of that one. I was gonna say, you can't say it could be worse after that. <laughs> Relic. Relic. Uh. I could be dead. That would be worse. You know, death versus Relic is... Not that bad of an option. Poor Relic. It's okay, man. He's just a kid. He hasn't learned self-control or... thing yet. He has to install that filter module in his brain that we all have. When to shut up and when not to? Or just... Like filtering some of the stuff between his brain and his mouth, mm. like any of it. Yeah, it's just a constant feed. Wait, like so this dude, like in a couple of years, could be like the best Twitch streamer ever? You know, just because he's like constant stream of consciousness, the to his mouth, and so. If you yeah. had to do monologue, it would be great. Well, I mean, the thing is, this with is Twitch streaming, like... you know, you kind of have to, like, keep talking and, like, keep yeah. explaining what you're thinking, and it just comes naturally to that dude. The problem is, is, like, when he's putting stuff in, like, to, uh, Kerbocast, his edits, there's no editing, he just rolling no i mean he can't he can't form a complete sentence without changing his mind three times in the w process but you know yeah. uh, is he like adhd you think i would something like that think so he kind of has that opinion or he kind of has that feeling yeah he could of somebody definitely who's already be. been there is there Uh, let me know if my mic starts echoing or anything. I think I might have set the sensitivity a little high. Sounds fine was... for now. Okay, it was just way too low earlier. Alright, I'm in the world now. Okay. You know, I played like a little bit offline uh, on this world, and you still show up now since you're in the cryotube. Your name just stays red. I thought that was pretty neat. How are you today, Spaceman? Pretty good. Um, I think... Stuck in this thing. Just Frozen or something. Yeah. It's like... I can't see any anything out of the windows. Like, it's just black out there. Well, that's not good. Hang on a second, yeah. I'll come back and see if I can... I think... I might have died in here. My name is Red. Yeah, your name is Red. Oh, I think that means I died for some reason. No idea where the rest of people, my people in this group went to. I'll just respawn, see what happens. Well, if you haven't respawned yet, hang on, I'm coming back into the ship. Oh, okay. I thought you were already in here. Object is being what? used. So confused what happened here. Well, the crowd chamber's on. I can't interact with it. I'm gonna join the game again. Okay. Kinda weird bug. That would really suck if you if you spawned dead. 
Is that possible to spawn dead? I guess you could uh, be still birth if that happened. I'm not sure what happens um, if you die in the cryo chamber. I think it's just supposed to send you to that spawn screen. Pick your next spawn location. I was thinking about it. I think I'm going to make a scouting ship and just find what was it? Um, platinum. Platinum. Or yeah. That's what we need as to make as, the jump drive. As soon as we find that, I'll get out and hand drill some, fly back, and then make a small mining ship that'll double as a scouting ship. Just need to wrap my original scouting ship. I logged on for like an hour on Sunday during the day. Um, I guess that'd be yesterday. And uh, discovered that the station floats away, even though it's not supposed to. So I went online and looked up what the problem was. And um, it's an option you have to turn off or on so that the stations behave like they used to before one of the updates, yeah. which made them float. So I fixed that. The station doesn't float away anymore. And I built a mining yeah. ship, but I haven't really used it except to maneuver the station around. That must have been my problem. Um, I remember when I was telling you about anchoring it to the asteroid, because like, I thought the same thing. Or I had read it online, <laughs> but yeah, it must have been from a previous version to where we're just stationary. But uh, I had built this huge thing, this hangar, and it started lightly, like, <laughs> put thrusters on it and do the whole merge block thing. Yeah. I didn't discover it until, so I built it, uh, my mining ship. I went and got some ice. That's all I did with it was get ice for fuel. Ooh, um, I see that. And then came back and I went to land and uh, I touched the station and it just starts spinning away from me. And I was like, oh, that's not a good thing. So I reloaded, um... Because, I mean, there's no way I was getting it back. And uh, went and looked on so, what the problem was. And then I fixed the option um, on the game and then merged it with a stationary station. You know, if this original block gets destroyed now, will it still be stationary? Since you on that, change that option? I'm not sure. Um, I mean, I had to build a second station and then connect it to the second station that was immovable. You can see the merge blocks over there. Okay, yeah. But I don't know what destroying the original block would do. From what I understand, once the merge blocks are merged, you can just go ahead and destroy them and replace them with regular armor blocks. That's what I've done for a couple things on my asteroid base. I wonder what this week's update's gonna be. Apparently they do weekly updates. Probably. Hopefully more bug fixes. Yeah. Do they do a cycle like every other week is like bug fix and <laughs> I don't know. That's what it I mean, since we've been playing, that's what's happened. Is content bugs, content. So. For which game? Space Engineer. Oh, holy crap, I can't hear anything right now. So on you these understand words come out of my mouth? On these efficiency modules, I see they only have one green light. Um, yeah. Is there uh, any reason there's only one? Mm, I have no idea. I didn't even know. Because there's three. Really. Um, here on, on this side. See that middle one's lit up? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe that just tells you what kind of block it is. Well, let's build... I was going to build a, a power efficiency block. And so it might have a different colored light. You have an assembler, right? Yeah. 
I guess we're still pretty good on parts, though. Yeah, the only thing we ran out of was construction components. I underestimated how many construction components we were going to need. <laughs> but that is okay. Uh, are you building something right now? Uh, steel tubes. I just popped it at times. Yeah, I, I mean, a um, project. Are you working on a ship or anything? Oh, I was fixing the landing gear on the big rocket. So you need like steel plate and motors. Um, the only thing that's left. Tube. The only thing that's left to, to fix the landing legs is motors. Okay. I was just gonna grab some bulk stuff here. I didn't want to grab too much of anything. Oh, when you reloaded, did it spawn you properly, or did you have to? Yeah, yourself? I was in. I was in the cryo tank. Walked out just fine. Okay. Oh, do you think we should put a medical lab on here, or whatever you call it? On the station, or on the platform? Just so, you know, if we take the ship away, we can spawn back here. That would probably be a good idea, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna do that first then. Okay, all the components to build that should be on the ship. Except maybe construction components, but we've got those here, so... Okay, I can actually hear people again now. We had some explosions. Um, snowballs popping and... Weird whimsical sounds. Weird whimsical sounds. That's the best way I can describe it, yeah. Alright. It's Star Trek Online that weird uh, Q's Winter Wonderland stuff. Okay. Yeah, Q explains it. Yeah, Q. That's all you gotta say. How much Q is in this game, anyway? Oh, well, Q pops up quite often. Well, not a lot, but enough. <clears throat> they do a decent amount of fan service to all of the characters from the games. You don't really... They don't really... Or not games, but all the, the shows and movies and stuff. They don't really beat you over the head of, hey, here's so-and-so, and here he is again, and here he is again. The people that show up a lot, there's, there's a valid reasons why they show up quite a bit, so... Oh wow, I love actually having everything in my inventory that I need to build something by accident. Well, almost everything. So you playing Farming Simulator earlier, Space Man? Yeah, I was playing that while I was watching your stream. Good time to get some work done. So I have a question about that. That. Do we want to do a um, server? Um, what do you mean? Like, like a uh, a dedicated server for Farming Simulator? Uh, how and would that if, work? If enough people get it. How would we do the dedicated semi? I mean, um, server. Um, it would be like how much a month? Money, um, money wise. I think if yeah, like I mean, if enough of us started playing, it would be. Well, I would but be. How does the multiplayer work exactly? 
I mean, well, do you in end terms up... of having like a, if you have a dedicated server, it just it runs, um, whatever game speed you set it at, it just constantly runs at that, and then it's up to like, it's not like a single player where you can come in and play for an hour and the time goes for so long and then when you're out of the game, it's it. Come back in at the exact same time. It's always going. So, I mean, like, I guess what I'm wondering is, so let's say you plant some stuff, mm -hmm. and it grows. How long does it take to mature to where you can harvest it? And what happens if you're not there to harvest it? Like, do we have to babysit the fucking thing all the goddamn time, or what? Um... From what I remember seeing, it... Uh, I'm trying to remember the, the time stuff because you can change like how fast crops grow. And you yeah, can but I mean, like, what it, I want to it's... avoid is the Farmville problem of you gotta play the game on its schedule instead of your schedule. Well, which you... is fucking bullshit. You can change how fast crops grow and and then wither and die in the game. Um. And that's... Oh my god, it's so loud in my game right now. Uh, that's relative to the game time. If you set it, like, slow, I think it takes... Like, two days to fully grow a crop. Uh, grow a field. And, then, and like, another day for it to, to get so old that it withers and you can't really harvest it. That's like in-game time, so if you set the low enough, you don't necessarily have to have somebody constantly watching the, the fields in order to do it. I don't know, just kind of throwing it out there if we get enough people that can... I mean, it, it sounds cool, except I just don't want it to be a burden as opposed to a game, you know? Yeah. Like, I don't want to get to the point where it's like, oh, God, we gotta, like, go in, log in, harvest the crops, and then we plant some shit, and then there's nothing to do for another two days, and then, oh, God, we gotta log in right when it's ready, and... I would participate if I had the game. Which I would get the game if there was something like that for all of us to do. I mean, it does sound pretty cool. I mean, if we can get like four or five of us into it, then we could we could probably like split the costs and stuff. Uh, it's server. super loud again. Uh... Why not just turn the game down? Well, since I'm frozen by all the. Snowman, let me do that. I have a few seconds Man. I can do that with. Overall volume. Down. Yeah, I think we're good. Oh god. We're yeah. screwed. Yeah. <laughs> that joke never gets old. Hi, son. So one of the little things to do in the uh, here's Wonderland is you can uh, do this. It's called what is it? Tides of Ice. Yeah. And there's it's almost like a tower defense type thing. You got four lanes that you have to defend. Uh, and you have assimilated snowmen coming down all four lanes. And you have to try and hold off ten waves worth of these things. That sounds interesting. Yeah, the newer one that they come up this year, I'm not too keen on it, but... If 
if you got a good group of people showing up in your on your server to assist with it, it's pretty easy, but when there's not a lot of people, holy crap, it's ridiculous. 